All right. Okay. Today is a special day. Uh, today we're switching it up. Very highly requested uh, in the comments. Uh, and forgive me if I'm mispronouncing his name, but Dimash Kudaibergen. Dimash Kudaibergen. Dimash Kudaibergen. Dimash Kudaibergen. Dimash Kudaibergen. I like that name. It rolls off the, the tongue. I think we got it. I think we're saying it right. But if we're not, let us know. So we have to look into Dimash a little bit. We don't know who he is. We've never heard of him before. Yeah. So let's take a look. So Dimash Kudaibergen is Kazakh. He's a Kazakh singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist. He is university trained in classical as well as contemporary music and is known for his exceptionally wide vocal range. Wow. He has performed songs in 15 languages. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So we have ourselves, and we've we've talked about this before. So he's special. He's, he's a polyglot. No, no, no. There's got to be a different word for once you reach <laughs> above 10 languages. He has performed songs in 15 languages. Oh, and he's, look, he's only... He was born in 1994, so he's 27, 27 years old. Oh, my goodness. It says, although offered a position at the Astana Opera, he decided to carve out his career in contemporary music, mixing classical elements and traditional Kazakh music with pop music. Wow. Okay. He gained significant popularity in Kazakhstan and other post-Soviet countries in 2015 upon becoming the Grand Prix winner of Slavyansky Bazaar hmm. in Vitebsk, Belarus. That's okay. great, great pronunciation there. I, I try my best. He rose to fame in China with his participation as a wild card competitor in Hunan TV's Singer 2017, finishing second overall. Wow. So it looks like, you know, not only does he speak 15 languages, but he is what you know, we talk about as being sort of a, a global mm. citizen. Yeah. <laughs> and I've heard people say that he's the best singer on the planet. Wow. People have said in the comments that he is the best singer in the world. I know some people say that about Angelina Jordan. Yeah. But Dimash is the best singer in the world. They say, wait until you hear Dimash. Wow. And I'm again, we are no vocal coaches. Yeah. So, you know, we just go in with an ear. Yeah. I'm but, really interested to hear this song we're about to uh, react to. Yeah. And to see what they mean by wide vocal range. Mm. That, you know, because you got the 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 low, low. Yeah. Vocal range. And then you got the highest of the high. Yep. Right. And if he, I don't know if he'll uh, perform, you know, both of those in this one song but that's something that you don't need to be a vocal coach to hear yeah so let's check it out uh this is Dimash SOS at the Slavic Bazaar I need to know what the Slavic Bazaar is real quick he searched that up oh okay it it says uh the Slavic Bazaar is an annual international contest for prominent singers mm. okay I've never heard of it but I'm, I'm assuming it's pretty popular. Yeah. So one more thing before we get in here. Can we look up what SOS means or the meaning behind this song? Okay. SOS is a song composed by Mikkel Berger and written by Luke Plamondon in 1978 for the rock opera Starmania. It was performed for the first time by Daniel Balavoine. So really quickly, SOS is a distinctive Morse code sequence and not an abbreviation. But in popular usage, it is associated with phrases such as save our souls and save our ship. Hmm. SOS is still recognized as a standard distress signal that may be used with any signaling method. Hmm. So SOS, doing Terrian and distress, uh, which I may be butchering the pronunciation of that means sos of a man in distress mm. so that's what what the song is about 
a man in distress. Yeah. He's basically saying help. Yep. All right, let's get into it. Dimash SOS at the Slavic Bazaar. Обладатель Гран-при международного конкурса исполнителей эстрадной песни Витебск 2015 Димаш Кудайберген, Казахстан. It's up there. Yep. He's going to bring it down again. Just got to pause it real quick. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> what was what were some of the first things running through your head when you when you saw him blend the lows and the highs so, so well during this was perfection, mm. vocal perfection, mm. right? You know what that sounds like in your ears. Mm. Yep. And I'm trying to follow along the words. At, I, at the, I just, I, I lost just stopped track. following along. Yeah. I stopped following along. I don't even need to know what the song means. I don't need to know what he's saying. Because you inherently understand him. Yes. It goes far beyond words. Yes. You know what he's saying. Yeah. You know what he's talking about. Music is the universal language. That's what this is. Oh, Jordan, it's, but look, you feel the opera, yes. right? And I think for me, how I feel the opera is the 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 smooth sailing in the ocean. It's it's literally mm. like the the most peaceful ocean that mm. he's. However, you know, he's taking us up and down, up and down, up and down, but it's all so smooth. Mm -hmm. Jordan, he goes to the highest of highs. It is flawless. He goes to the lowest of lows. He hasn't gone too low yet, but he goes low yes. and it's flawless. And it makes his highs that much better. Yeah. Because he brings you on a, on a, on a roller coaster. Oh. I was having images of Romeo Santos. Mm. Romeo Santos, The weekend. 
the weekend. That's who came to my mind. But look, look, the weekend can't go that low, right? Or he doesn't, you know. He, yeah. Most of his songs are are he demonstrates that high vocal ability. I've never heard something like this. Yeah, this. <laughs> The only way I'm able to like understand or, or kind of conceptualize what he's doing is by comparing him to other artists. Yeah. yeah. So when I say Romeo Santos, he had a point. It was like three seconds where he sounded exactly like him. Yes. You know what I mean? And it, like, I'm sure he sounds like he can make himself sound like a hundred different artists. Yes. Yes. You know, in this w short three minutes, oh, Jordan, yeah. he's made himself sound like probably 10 different artists but so authentically himself yes who else can do this i i've never heard this before i'm wondering if he does this in all of his songs mm. you know where he he takes listeners on a journey from very high to very low and everywhere in between yeah he can do that yeah wow hey let's finish it off i'm gonna try to try to pay attention to the lyrics <laughs> Je crois I love that That's my favorite part right there. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Димаш Кудаберген, Казахстан! И море поклонников блестящего артиста на Славянском базаре. Браво! Спасибо! Похоже, сегодня Басков без цветов. a lot of flowers. Димаш Кудайберген, браво! Спасибо большое. Разрешите сказать пару слов от всей души. Хочу поблагодарить вас, дорогие зрители, за то, что когда я участвовал на Славянском базаре в качестве участника, помогли мне с моей карьеры. И Славянский базар для молодых артистов очень много значит, действительно. Я от всей души хочу выразить вам огромную благодарность. Приезжайте в Казахстан. Спасибо большое! Рахмет! Димаш Кудаберьен, Казахстан! Спасибо! Okay, I don't, I don't know anything he just said, <laughs> but all, what I do know is that the audience was just silent as silent can be. Mm. This is a little different than um, some of the these type of singing contests we watch here in America, Jordan. Yeah, it feels like this is, you know, much more serious. Mm. You know, and 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 he. Uh, he's serious about this. <laughs> yeah. He's truly serious about this. And to be honest, I think we've entered new territory. <laughs> I think we've entered new territory. I mean, there's, I, I just want to go listen again. Yeah. You know, I don't even, I don't know what he said at the end, but I know what my favorite part of the song was. Let me try to find it. Right here, right here. 
No, not right there. Right here, right here. Ah. different he's different he's different wow I, I got some michael jackson vibes again yeah yep um hmm. i didn't close my eyes uh, during any of this performance but i i know that if i did i um there were points where i would have thought a woman was singing mm. i was thinking that too yep and then when he goes low, mm. you know, I would have thought a man was singing. Yeah. Um. I to be honest, I have no words. You know, I, I'm speechless. Yeah, I'm kind of left speechless as well. I don't know what just hit me, <laughs> but I'm trying to put words to it. I'm I'm trying to understand what he just did. All right, let me ask you this: best vocal ability that you have ever heard was this that <laughs> best vocal ability what do you mean by vocal ability was this the the best four or five minutes of mm. wide-ranging vocal of course ability that you've ever seen of course wide-ranging yes now digging into each of those ranges was it the best within each range i don't think i'm qualified to say no just i mean we're not vocal coaches we're not professionals but just listening to the music enter your ears right listening to the music enter your ears you don't you don't you can't say whether this was the best vocal ability you've you've heard it's very much up there very very much up there if not the top of the list i just want to i want to listen to more yeah, of his yeah. songs they yeah. said that this was the one that that made him popular i just want to listen to more of his songs that's yeah. all yeah i want to listen to his r&b songs if he has any uh the way the the beat was hitting the with with his melody off of that oh my goodness he could put me to sleep he could put me to sleep i feel so selfish with these artists where i want uh, i want dimash to sing r&b i want him to sing the weekend songs mm -hmm. right you know uh, I feel like we could watch this song 100 more times. No, this was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I mean, you know, we have to listen to the people, Jordan. Mm. People are calling him the best vocalist on planet Earth. Yeah. I, I can't deny that. Yeah. Just listening to one performance so far, I can't deny that. Yeah. Well, listen, this was mind-blowing i'm gonna have to go back and listen again because yeah. this was he, he took me on a journey i couldn't keep up with i definitely couldn't keep up with the lyrics um, but i definitely got a a vibe from his singing a vibe i, I kind of understand what the song was about but i mean he went from up to down up down up down up down probably maybe 30 times yeah and so quickly each time yeah and you, you know i think the language difference also has an impact because mm. i don't know what he's saying but i have to feel what he's saying true so i have to try to read on the screen what he's saying and and his vocal ability just completely demolishes my ability to do that because i just i'm feeling what he's saying so i cannot pay attention at the and feel at the same time mm. you know with an with a an english singer you know english is our first language I'm able to just listen and feel simultaneously. This yeah. was a bit different where you have to really 
pay attention if you if you want to understand yeah. the lyrics. I want to know what languages he can speak. What mm. 15 languages he has performed songs in, actually. He may be able to speak more. Well, yeah. I mean, and it doesn't mean that he knows how to speak 15 languages. He can just perform. He's performed songs in 15 different languages, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, to perform a song in another language... You know, if you don't have a proficiency in that language, that's a lot of yeah. studying. Yeah, I would imagine that'd be difficult. But yeah, he's a special, special individual. Uh, that's quite obvious. It's a shame we have to wait another week to listen to this man sing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go you yeah. know, listen to all of his songs right now, but I know we can't do that. That'd be cheating. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure you subscribe, leave us a like, leave us a comment, direct us where to go next, and we'll see you next week. And turn on those notifications. That's right. Peace. Peace.